<laughs> Salam alaikum. Everyone, sorry about that. We got a bit disconnected. Uh, something was going on with IG. We've been having these technical errors all day, so I don't know exactly what is going on. I'm um, just waiting for more people to get up in here so we can actually start uh, getting this going. Waiting for my padrino to jump back on. Uh, but yeah, sorry about that. We've been having these uh, glitches going on all day long. I don't know what is up with social media lately. Uh, we was trying to do this originally on the YouTube. And unfortunately, uh, we had this issue. But it's all right. So we're just waiting for my padrino to jump back on here. And we're going to jump right back on the spiritual topic. So just bear with us, guys. We love you all. And uh, we appreciate all your love and support. But feel free to drop your questions down in the uh, in the comments section below, and uh, we'll be happy to answer anything for you guys. Okay, hold on, I'm connecting. Uh, I'm connecting him in here. Douglas Saunders, I bind technical difficulties. Got you, brother. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna kill this technology, man. We're not meant for this, I swear. <laughs> no, don't feel bad, cause everywhere, even in the in the stores and everything, their computers are crashing and everything. Everything no, is all open not. with this craziness. Is something energetically going on? Definitely, definitely. But yeah, so where was we? Zarabanda's acting up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, but that's all right. So where do we leave off? I'm trying to trying to. Remember I think we were here. talking about the, the 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 people saying that the people of color, certain colors can be in the tradition. Then we left off that even with our females, the females as yayas, no matter what color they are, they want to restrict them. You know what I mean? And that's a good one. Mm -hmm. More than what they're taught to do, they're restricted to certain little things not to do. But they have to be respected, and they have just the same blessings and power as we do. You understand? Exactly. But because this machismo and these new age valeros and stuff like that coming out here, they want to keep everything to the to self demand like that. They could continue getting money. You know, and we have to respect our woman. We was born from a woman. Exactly. You exactly. Know? And that's disrespecting a lot of the, the female spirits and the, the spirits that we work with. When they, I've heard some crazy stuff in certain houses, like uh, the yayas can't feed their kendembos and feed their spirits. That's a crock of shit. Excuse my language, but that's all bullshit, you know? And it's, it's all discrimination. And, and again, like this year, like we're talking about, you know, just like the lettering that you did. And just so y'all know, check out his channel, Tatoriati. He did a lettering for this year that was very on point with everything that's going on right now. We have to honor each other and we have to be in unity because it's the only way we're going to survive, especially in times like this, guys. So seriously, stick together. Don't give up, you know, and keep getting ahead. You got to, we got to stick together and not discriminate against nobody. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay, definitely. I agree with you 100%. That's why I did Sorry, uh, uh, the... Like, oh, you was yeah. connecting there. Yeah, that's the reason I did that YouTube video earlier because I just wanted to reach out and let people know that we there for them, you know. And there's another thing. Um, I had a smart ass <laughs> uh, go on there to about tatas with egos. So I think he was throwing uh, yeah. that at me. But what they don't understand is I don't have no ego. My thing is is that if something is wrong and it's not right, I must speak up on it. It's not an ego thing. You know how I am, Tata. I give my arm to the world. You know what yeah, I mean? I know that from experience. If I, have, if I have one last dollar in my pocket, I will give it out. It's nothing about ego. It's just about um, defending the structure of the old ways and, and not putting up with abuse. Ego is a whole different a whole different thing of what they're thinking that I am, that I'm over high with ego or not. But anyway, that's besides the point. So, so what advice? <laughs> so, what advice you have on your side over there for the for the people now with the situation, they're in quarantine and stuff like that? Um, I really think that they should just start studying their stuff. You know, staying clean and doing their cleansings, like you said, is very important. Getting their readings done um, and figure themselves out now more than ever. Maybe this is a, a way of. Of my longo telling everybody, y'all need to be put in a timeout and really reflect into your inner self and 
see what your, your true meaning in life is, you know, because we always got to look at a positive side of a negative situation. Of course, you know, and that, that is so true, you know, and, and the thing is, as far as I see, everything that's going on in the world right now, everything happens for a reason. And when it comes to all this crazy stuff that's happening, as far as, you know, these sicknesses and stuff, you know, a lot of people, I've got a lot of crazy emails, even clients and friends of mine saying, uh, you know, oh, my God, the world's ending and all this stuff. No, it, it's not that the world's ending now. Now, it, society can end if we let it, you know, but it's all how we react to things. You know, this is yeah. a perfect time just like you were saying, to really get into our spirituality and go back to our true roots because that's what's going to get us through this. And I've had a talk with a lot of people about this specific matter. If we don't go back to the ways of our ancestors, we have no we're hope. Lost. we gone, you know? It's just you like our ancestors know. went through the worst. You got to know where you came from to know where you're going. And when there's a will, there's a way, you know? And... Uh, in this difficult time, I just want to share light and love and uh, support to the people in the world, you know, and any way that I could do that or you could do that, man, guys, we're all more than welcome, welcoming you guys to come for advice and anything we could do for you guys. Absolutely, you know, and that that's the main thing right now is, um, you know, a lot of meditation, a lot of spiritual cleansing and just spending time in nature, you know, getting away from the city because we're all, you know, I kind of like to say, you know, and zombies kind of shut the world down in a sense. <laughs> you know, he's, he, he, sure you got to say at some point that God and the ancestors get tired of all this stuff that's going on, you know. And that and that came out in the lettering of Palo of this house, the lettering my own day said it. This year is going to be tougher than the last year. And we're taking a few people with us to open your eyes. Exactly. So, guys, to be on point, it's not a laugh. It's not a, I mean, I'm smiling and stuff, but it's not a laughing matter. It's, uh, it's strong things are coming down our way for this year to the next year. I mean, um, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Sage is one thing, you know, not that I'm a fairy or nothing like that. You know, I'm not somebody that runs around saging things and stuff like that. <laughs> Sage is very good to take, um, take uh, how you call it, bacteria out of the air in the house. So it's very good to burn sage. That's yeah. and spiritual, you know? Yeah, and it balances out the, the energy in the house. It's really good, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's a lot of holistic stuff that you could do that's within your own home to help you out to, in, this, in this time of need and this situation, you know? Exactly. Even... I know we can't be going out to restaurants like we want to, uh, eating lobster and steak, you know, but guess what? I'm happy as hell. I had some liver earlier today with some exactly. onions and everything. I was the happiest person in the world. The world. I was sitting in front of my lake and uh, watching my longo and talking to a side, and it was beautiful, you know? Absolutely. They're making us go back to basics, and that's what I feel like a lot of people are having trouble handling. And sometimes, you know, it's like I, I was having a talk with someone the other day, and I said, you know, we're being forced to go back to what we know is right for us. If we exactly. don't go back to where we come from, we're lost because this world ain't going to give us no guidance, and that's for damn sure, you know? Mm -mm. And this also... It's here to destroy us, unfortunately, as it is today. And, like, in everything in life, there's good and bad, and I want uh, everybody to know, protect yourselves. Make sure you have the means to protect yourselves because there's going to be idiots, looters, People with bad influence, spirits and stuff going to be trying to break into your house, try to um, steal your gas, yeah, try to rob you, try to do this and that and take advantage of the situation because the government is basically freaking out. The world is freaking out. You know, this is very, we're in a very unstable moment in time and we have to, you know, be calm, collective to know how to react to every situation that comes to us in this time and day. Become water, like Bruce Lee said, become water. Be flexible exactly. and go with the flow and you'll be just fine. And adapt, you know, and that's just like you were saying, we have to adapt to these times and come back to who we truly are. If not, we we done for, you know, and and getting back to, uh, you know, some things that people people can do is just, you know, getting back to the ways of the ancestors. I mean, study, study, study. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, why I'm not getting ahead. Well, what you're putting into it is what you're going to get out. That's what exactly. I mean. The spirits have kicked my ass numerous times. And I know you have more that I can't speak for you, but I know you have. Oh, had yeah. They put like, trials on all of us to see how much we can handle. But look, anything good in life 
it's worth going that going through the hassle, you know. And I won't trade my tradition, my spirituality for anything or anyone in this world. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just gonna answer one quick question. Somebody said, "What oh, does?" Oh yeah, let's, let's get to the comments because we kind of. I think they said what the... lumbe means. If you mean lumbe, lumbe means sound. That's like when you do the invocation. Lumbe, 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 lumbe na kwe wanganga. Si warando kita siri siri balo kiyambo kiyambo se sa we. Lumbe is noise. That's how come you, you, you just rattle the stuff and you, so, uh, you that's your noise waking up. Lumbe, lumbe, see me, hear me. That's what lumbe means. But yes, they have to be very careful, you know, and protect yourselves and make sure don't go looking for fancy steaks and nothing like that. Get your canned food, your chicken, things like that, and, and put it away. Exactly. And the other thing I wanted to touch on was you was talking about looters and people doing a lot of... Can you not hear me again? We have an audio? No. Can you hear me? Okay. Good. good, good, good. Yeah, sorry, guys. I don't know what is going on with this technology today. I'm telling you, we just had a hell of a time with it. But anyway, what I was saying was um, you were mentioning about looters and people, um, you know, robbing and doing crazy stuff and, you know, getting violent and things like that. Um, you know, it's very interesting because I did a reading the other day and a lettering came out with Nsazi and Nsazi, you know, is also war. So yeah. we got to watch because there's going to be a lot of people with the energy of violence and things like that. And, you know, very dark spirits that's going to come on to people, you know, because the way the world is going right now, these people are going to start bugging even worse. You know what I mean? Especially with these people that are passing, not wanting to pass, and these spirits stay in limbo and wanting to come back to to, to the life. It's going to be attached to a lot of people and stuff like that. And it's going to create um, craziness, you know, things that they're going to start Baker acting people, thinking that they really are they crazy, are crazy. But it's actually spirituality and spirits are attaching to them. There's been a lot of deaths. Look at Italy, how many people died. Huh? Even here in America. All these wandering souls that did not want to die, young, old, whatever, even kids. So uh, it's sad, man. It hurts. It's terrible, you know, and that's the thing. Um, you know, in touching on that too, when you're talking about these wandering souls and stuff like that, a lot of people don't realize they're going to try to jump uh, bodies again. Oh, hold on. Can you hear me? Okay, better. Yeah, sorry, guys. I don't know if it's... Uh, on our end or if it's on you guys' end, I'm not sure. But um, no, just touching on uh, the spirits and things like that and these wandering souls, you know, that's why it's so important to protect yourselves against this stuff because these souls that don't ascend, I mean, it's just like in our tradition, when someone passes on, there's ceremonies and things that's done to help them cross over with the enlightened spirits and in Pungos, Orishas, etc. And that's how they become what we know as, as Egun, you know, and our ancestors. Because these people that die in horrific deaths, they basically become um, what a lot of us know as is spiritual uh, tranquilo and uh, in tranquil spirits of the sort. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, one advice I want to give to our people is that all those that 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 can, you know, they should light at least a white candle and a cup of water and dedicate it to all these uh, people that just passed away. Wait. And the energies of these uh, spirits that they didn't want to leave this lifetime to give them light to get to where they're supposed to be. Every little bit counts, you know? Every little bit counts. And if they could do that and we do stuff on our side, I mean, it's a good energy, a positive energy we put it out to the world that will come back as well. Exactly. There's no stopping us, you know? And it's, it all gets back to our roots and our spirituality. Is it your mic? Your microphone? The mic. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I think it's the uh, me front. We've been having crazy uh, difficulty um, with this technology, but I'm just gonna. I'm looking at the uh, the comments here. I don't want to leave the viewers hanging. Let's see. The world situation remind me when Oya brought death to the world. Luna, that's that's really true. There's a lot of change coming right now. A lot of change and a lot of, uh, unfortunately, a lot of death, a lot of violence. I was doing Chamba shots with you. Yeah, Chamba is good to remove all kind of spiritual sickness and anything of the sort like that, even physical sickness, spiritual, whatever, you know? Very good for cleansing. Very good for cleansing and firing up and starting your spirit to work. 
And at, at moderation, it's good to take any bad um, negative energy that you ingest it through your, through your mouth, like if somebody threw um, witchcraft in your cup and things like that. Yeah, that's another interesting thing I wanted to uh, touch on too now that you mentioned it. You reminded me is um, a lot of people saying this coronavirus, uh, it must be his mic, guys. Can you guys hear me okay? Shoot me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me okay. I don't know. This is Michael. Yeah, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear because they were commenting that, they, that you sound far. It's your mic? Okay. So it must be my mic. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, is that any better? Hold on. It sounds better now. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was. I turned the... Uh, hold on. I turned the volume up here. Is that is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. The people are saying they can hear me. Okay, they can hear. Okay, so you guys can hear him. Okay, your thumb may be blocking the mic. That probably was it. Could have been. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. But I'm not saying nothing. I'm a caveman. I don't know nothing about technology. I'm a brujero. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're not so good with the uh, the technology. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's talk about a little bit about uh, this interview, if you don't mind. How did you feel receiving a sign? How was that oh, for your experience? Ooh, I, what I can remember, pretty crazy. Uh, I remember, um, man, let's see what I do remember. This is going to take me a minute. So I remember right before we started, we was preparing all day, all this crazy stuff, you know. Uh, I remember I walked in your house, and I can't reveal what I seen, you know, is this secret, but you had at least, let's see, a table, probably a table and then some, a whole kitchen, and a living room full of supplies, you know, I remember that, and when we got in there, I remember you was preparing all day, and I was kind of sitting there, I'm like, man, I'm ready, you know, I just, I got my baths, I did some cleansings, uh, you washed me with some, uh, you gave me some baths to do, because I had to get some stuff off me. And, uh, but man, once we got the ceremony started, whoo, that energy, I'm telling you, um, what I can remember was when I was kneeling down and I can't reveal everything that happened, but from what I can remember, it was insane. I mean, just the wave of energy, the only way you, it has to be felt and, and, and not it described, you could say, you know, but definitely, the energy, definitely. The energy, the way I can describe it is a thick blanket of energy. That's the only way I can describe it. You get wrapped up in it. And I remember the, um, the, the other, the spirit, which I can't get into the secrets as far as like in phone bays and stuff like that. But I remember there was a spirit that ended up coming down, uh, mounting me during the thing after that. And I remember there was another God brother there, and that's when I blacked out, and I don't really remember much after that. <laughs> and about your right there, and about your ceremony of being sworn as a Tata, how was that for you? That was very intense. That one I remember quite a bit more because uh, I didn't, I don't think I got possessed that time, but it was still pretty heavy. I remember. Uh, yeah, you don't remember a lot. <laughs> I don't remember a lot, though. That's the thing. And, um, you know, it's funny, though, because a lot of people I've talked to, you know, no one really remembers anything. Like, you remember up until you get there, you remember the preparation. But as soon as you go in that temple, I remember I was blindfolded and uh, some other stuff that was happening, some uh, spiritual tools that I had to hold on to and stuff like that. Um, but man, it's just all I can say is a, is a heat and a fire, a spiritual fire that you feel is igniting. Though I guess you could say just like lighting a candle or a bonfire, but a spiritual flame that is burning inside you. Everybody, everybody that I get, that I swear on top of Maria La Opera and then you have to put your in the end, that's my Kindembo. Um, they always get pulled forward and there's nobody there. They feel like their soul ripping out their body. It's crazy. It is, yeah. Because that's the thing, like, when I, it was almost like I wasn't in a phys the physical realm anymore. I was somewhere else, time didn't exist, and I couldn't, I couldn't know what was going on anywhere around me. I wasn't aware of the people in the ceremony. I was somewhere else. That's all I can say. It's like a, a type of spiritual high, if you will. <laughs> no, no, it's amazing. It's amazing. And this house, when we, do, 
when do we do initiations in this house you actually do feel that energy because if you get initiated you don't feel nothing that means you ain't getting nothing in this exactly. house you feel it for yourself and not that I'm advertising myself I'm just saying when something is done correct it's a wrap no i know from uh, from experience the energy whoo i mean it's it's crazy you know when you start manifesting that in the it starts manifesting in the room and in the physical dimension because it's like coming down to us and then it's like our spirit in a sense if you will is uh, is coming up you know it's going up is ascending into that realm because a lot of people something else a lot of people don't realize is when we're getting initiated we're not just getting initiated in the physical it's not just the ceremony that's the call mm -hmm. in the actual ceremony you know you die and come back to life yeah, exactly <laughs> that's another I thing when i um when i went to sleep i remember i woke up like gasping for air it was almost like <gasps> you know i felt like i came back into my body No, no, that's how, and where did I put you? Where do I put everybody before any major ceremony of Mayombe or Osai? Where's the first place we put you in the woods in front of what? What was it? You cut in out front of what? Bit. In front of what in the woods I always put anybody as being initiated to Mayombe because it's very important. What was it? In front, you... what, in front of what tree in the woods I put um, all the initiates before they go into the sacred oh, room? The tree, the Saba tree. You see, which is very important. The Saber tree, exactly. Uh, I can't see because it's telephone so little. What's her name there? It's a Saber? Oh, let's see. No, no, the one that says Saber. I, was, I can't oh. see because I'm on the phone. The Lily 1987. Yes, you're 100% correct. Before anybody gets initiated into Mayombe or receiving Osa Lee, okay, Lee. Um, um, Jesus Christ, I just got mm -hmm. thrown off. Anytime anybody gets initiated into Mayombe, Napalo Monte, Nanaki Lisa, Mayombe, um, they have to be at the foot of the Seba tree. And anytime anybody receives a sign, the ceremony has to be in front of the Seba tree. <laughs> yeah, that, and there's a whole lot you can do with the, the Seba. There's a lot of secrets that goes into that, you know, even some crazy stuff. <laughs> hey, Miss Lee, are you the one, the, the energetic one with the tambourine thing? You look, that, that picture looks familiar. I'm seeing that hard? But I can't tell because I'm on the phone, so it's hard to tell. But yeah, the, um, it has to be in front of the Seba. That's that's where the the energy from Asulu above and the Toto below. Exactly. And I remember that. Yeah, oh I remember that's something else. Now it's coming back to me is um I remember during my, my Palo ceremony when I was in front of the Saber tree, I started actually uh shaking pretty bad because there was some stuff that was needing to go and new spirits coming in, you know. As long, um yeah, we do that. We have a question there. What it says? Oh let's let let's take look at the houses. Do I take people who are leaving other houses? Um in certain circumstances, okay. yes. If things was done wrong and they be mistreated in that house or whatever the case may be, I will do the reading and I will accept people that's um, from other houses that has been mistreated and has not got the proper ceremony done. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a lot of, um, you see a lot of crazy stuff going in certain houses. And Take your finger off the phone. Oh, is it? <laughs> it must be that. I got to get my, uh, I didn't have time to pull my camera stand up today. So I'm having to do it uh, a little like this, you know? No, I'm going to harass you during the week because I bought microphones and everything. I want you to show me how to hook it up. I'll put, you on, the, uh, I'll put you on live and you show me. Exactly, exactly. No, it's good. It's good. We're going to get this uh, going. So I just asked the viewers, yeah, bear with us, guys. We're just getting all this stuff. We got a lot more coming for you. A lot more, you know. But um, yeah, this is just a start, like an introduction, trying to get, uh, just touch base with everybody and go from there. Exactly. I'm just looking at some of the uh, the comments here because I didn't want to miss any uh, anybody's questions. Let's see. This person, the coronavirus is all about population control. I, I say that's pretty, pretty accurate. Uh, it's scary that. enough to believe that it could be. You know, absolutely. I don't even want to say what the reading said earlier today when we touched that topic, but they're going to uh, get a little nervous. So there's something they more to this than, uh, than, than bats. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, well, it's going to be a lot more. We're going back to like the uh, Haitian Revolution type of stuff. 
<laughs> Definitely. Hey, and I'm a prepper, and I'm not a prepper, but you know I'm a survivalist. I love nature. I was born and raised in nature. I'm happy. I'm just afraid of catching the Rona, so I don't want new people coming in just yet. Exactly. You know? yeah. you gotta check the well, temperature. <laughs> Just no, because I got kids, past. you know? I got kids and stuff. I try to keep that with me. I don't care. I live my life for the kids, you know? Exactly. Oh, of course. You know, they, they are biggest blessing, you know? And no way whatsoever we're laughing about people passing away. In the contrary, we're here no, on this no. show to, to show um, love. Uh, how can I put it? Uh, how you say it? You know, backing, backing everybody up, you know? This is a very uh, messed up situation. I just... We want people to find a silver lining over this dark cloud and keeping each other safe. Absolutely, you know, and that that's what it's about right now. And again, you know, getting back to the unity is so important because there's so much craziness going on. We got to have this person says shedding light. We have to keep everything in the light right now because you see the as far as I and I'm not going to get too much into the, uh, you know, government conspiracy theories. But, you know, for all those out there that's kind of into that, I mean, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of craziness going on, to say the least. And the only way we're going to do this is is by staying positive and putting light where there's darkness, you know? That's a must. That's a must. And that's what this is about. And it's always been about. This is not to do bad to people. Or that it could do whatever. But in its own right timing, place, and being. Justify will knock somebody out with no problem. But as he exactly. were, justify, you know? Of course. That's another got thing. a little bit of touch. everything for everyone. Of course. That's a really good point you brought up um, about justified work because I get a lot of um, emails that people talking about wanting certain things done. And the first thing I always say is there's got to be a reading and things got to get done properly because we're not here to just do crazy stuff. I've had people, you know, destruction spells and things like that. And if it's justified and we got to defend an innocent person, absolutely. But if it gets into doing uh, stuff that's not justified, we don't do that. We don't roll that way over here. Uh -uh. Not at all. Not at all. And that's what keeps us strong. That's exactly. what keeps us strong and keeps us going. Because the I minute remember, we do guys, wrong. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a little secret that my godfather taught me. It's so simple. Right? And it sounds corny. But so simple. May God rest his soul. Don't be scared of the devil if he if he faces you uh, if he looks at you dead in the eye. Fear is made in your mind. You understand? Fear don't exist. You make fear in your own head and your own mind. Always remember that. Absolutely, that's very true. You know, and I I remember you told me that one time when I was going through some stuff, and you told me you said never fear the devil, no matter what. And it don't matter if it come from the spiritual realm, somebody sending stuff at you. You know, and, and I'm still here, you know, out of all the craziness that I've been through. And I know you've been through some crazy stuff, too, you know, in your lifetime. Oh, forget about it. We could stay here for years talking about uh, stories, man. Man, talking about that, I want to start. Remember, we were talking about to start making events. Well, I obviously not oh, yeah. now with the stuff that's going on. But uh, you want to yeah. share a little bit of light of that, that stuff we were absolutely. talking about, about the events there? Yes. No, absolutely. That's the stuff that... uh. Mama and you were talking about, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, no, so uh, you guys, we are definitely in the future, like Padrino was saying, not any time right now, but once this stuff dies down, we're going to be looking at having different events where you guys can come out and, you know, kind of like meet and greets, get readings, cleansings, all kinds of stuff. We're going to be hosting a lot of big events coming up probably hopefully if this dies down, maybe four to five months after it dies down, somewhere around that. That we're gonna be doing it in different spots. We're gonna be doing it in different spots depending how it works out. But exactly. for us to make this happen, we need the viewers' help to spread the word, um, share, subscribe, all that good stuff for the people who know. We could do a lot of beautiful things for them, um, head on, face to face, you know, and 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 basically spread the seed of this beautiful tradition. Absolutely, this is our biggest defense, and it's it sad is. that our people. Knowing that this is our tradition, this is where we born for are letting this stuff go down, you know, and this is our biggest defense. Absolutely. 
And yeah, touching on some of the tradition, I mean, that's a really good point. We don't really have any other defense guys right now. The main, the only thing that we have, because you look at the world, everything else, we outnumbered. Sickness numbers, we outnumbered. But spiritually, we outnumber all the estugbo and all the bad luck and everything we're facing. That's why we got to stick together. You know, it's, it's, it's important. All this fear and mass panic and stuff going on, we want to stay away from that. But yeah, spread the word, guys. We're going to be having a lot of events, probably some in California, Florida, Miami, uh, all over the place. Who knows? Ohio. Who We're going to hit Ohio, Ohio too. too. Absolutely. We're going to be in Ohio, uh, probably eventually New York, Chicago. We're going to make it all over the map. So you're going to be seeing us everywhere. So spread the word. Uh, and we'll let you guys know and keep you posted. And make sure you subscribe to uh, his channel, is uh, Tato Riate, and then your website. All of our channels, everything. Now, uh, what is it? www.tatoriate.com. Uh, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff because we want to make beautiful things happen for you guys, but we need your help to spread the word. And we guarantee you, we're going to be there personally and we're going to help you out in many different ways. We're going to make you see life like you've never seen it before. Absolutely. Ache. And that's not a healthy promise. It's not. We're going to make it happen. So, yeah, guys, just shit, spread this around, you know, and uh, we're going to have a lot of good things happening for you. I got to, yeah, yeah, be a pain in the ass over here. <laughs> See, it's women, man. You know, we have, we love them, they, but they No, I'm going to make the women happy. I, I'm, I, I definitely going to make the ladies happy. We're going to make everybody happy. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> oh, so, man. Yeah. So anything else you want to hit before we, we wrap this up or? Um, yeah, I mean, the, main, the main thing, I just want to make sure, yeah, guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel, Tato Riate on YouTube. My channel is Santero Lucero and Tato Lucero. Uh, Instagram, you already know, Tato Lucerito 777. And then um, his Instagram is uh, Tato Riate, right? Mm -hmm. and then, Everything uh, mine is under Tato Riate. Okay. Perfect. I'm everywhere. Perfect. And we got your website on there. Perfect. All right. all right, guys. So we we wishing you all the best, wishing you many blessings, and uh, stay tuned for more content. We're going to be dropping more soon. And for those that feel that they need the prayers, which we all need prayers, um, just send in your names, and I'll do a special lamp, and and Tata Lucero is going to do a lamp over there. We're going to put your names to it to, to for your spiritual protection and development, and for the spirits and the guides guide you in the right way. All right. Salam alaikum alaikum sala. I love all you guys. And talk to you soon. Tata, salam alaikum. Mano kumano no kandiata. Badia kandiata. Babundo kwa wango. Salam alaikum. Engo Pedrino. Much love. Bye, you. Go, go. I love you all. Everybody, y'all stay safe out there. And we're going to be hitting you up. We're going to, we promise, we're going to be doing our best to get more active on the YouTube. We've been trying. Send them names in. Send them names in. And if you like what we're doing, let us know for we could continue doing it. We don't want to waste your time. And give um, us new topics. Yeah, give us topics that y'all want to hit and all that stuff. We're here for you. You know, we're here for you. I already got my stuff. You know, I'm here for you guys. We're here for you guys. We're going to make things happen. In this new year, we're going to battle it out like no other. And all that hatred stuff and those haters that like talking shit, I don't even care about what they say. Because look what happens to them at the end. And then I get more publicity. I get more money. I get more lights and stuff like that per se and uh let's make it happen <laughs> they giving us uh how you say uh free promotion yeah let them keep promoting oh, i love before it before we go before we go someone was asking yeah. where where do we send it in so send in to his email and mine which is email yeah is at gmail.com in fact let me just comment it right now in the uh put yours there too put yours yeah, there we're too gonna, we're gonna put them all in right now <laughs> And we will take pictures of this, and we will do a, do a video on the prayers and everything and the stuff doing there for you. I can see that we're not selling you a dream. Absolutely. In this, That's in, your in this spirituality right nowadays, you know what is so sad? That there's too many actors and com comedian actors and, and how you put it, entertainers. Exactly. Instead of real spiritualists. Exactly. You want to know the truth. You want to feel it. If you don't feel it, it's nothing there. It's nothing there. You don't use your decoration and things like that for spiritual communication and things as, as such. Exactly. So there you go. There's the information. Love you guys. Y'all be safe. Talk to you soon. I'm out. And salam alaikum.